Hello all and welcome to the channel. Today I bring you an overview of Irish Gaze. Now this is the first game in the Iron Rail series here. And we've got the designer and the artist just there and it's brought to us by these guys at the top. Now this is a three to five player game. It takes about 60 minutes and it's that light just touching into medium complexity. And if you're after a run through, I'll be bringing you the guys that video next week. Now in this game, we we head to Ireland as investors. We are investing in these five companies at the top. Before we actually kick off, we'll be auctioning from left to right. So yellow will be uh, bidding, starting the bid at that uh, bold price there of seven. Whoever wins that will take the share. They'll kick off the next auction in purple. Let's say they go six. If you do decide to pass, you are out of that bidding. And whoever wins it pays the money. They get that share. They, whoever the winner, will start off the bidding on the purple. And you need enough money to be able to participate. So each one of those shares will be sold off at the beginning and you can see each company has a different number of shares So the yellows the share underneath it will be valued at 12 and there's three shares in total We've got four for purple uh, per, uh, Orange only have two shares blue have four and red have three shares and obviously the more shares you have the more Dividends you will acquire when it pays out now looking at the board I'll just kind of zoom out a bit here You can see you've got various locations and hexes and they're all all well explained on the side you can see at the very top if you undertake the action to build railway you have three points available how are you going to spend them points so maybe you go to an easy hex at the top there and if it's empty it's only going to cost you one if someone else has already built a different color company a locomotive it's going to cost you 1.5 if you go to one of these difficult hexes that's got this kind of green area here it's going to cost you two and there isn't even an option for another locomotive to go there so only one company goes in those spots and then you have towns cities and major cities there now towns can become cities if you place a special interest cube there and that's one of the actions i'll go through and you have these major cities which have a red outline and this three of those you can see them just here now if you manage to connect these three cities your company will get a 12 pound dividend and if you're the only shareholder in that company you will get the lot if there's two shares out there it'll be split amongst whoever owns them shares so maybe that's a little bit of extra revenue you're trying to attain now each company starts on the same spot every game so you can see just below yellows here it's got a yellow yellow marker and same for those but the the interest cubes are randomly drawn on those city spots now what are the four actions you can do you're trying to create the most revenue through dividends for the end of the game you will be acquiring more money through these dividends maybe you will create an auction to buy more shares but the tricky thing is the amount you bid let's just say you do an auction and you buy this purple share here at a value of eight at the end of the game it's only worth five so you might have an accumulation of these shares but it's only worth the bold number so be mindful of how much you bid so the first action you can do when you actually start the game if you've got any money after that initial auction is undertake an auction so it's your go you declare an auction you pick which color you're going for and everyone participates now you can't pass you can't choose that as an option you have to pay the bold you have to say the bold number so let's say you go for the red share and obviously this first one would have been bid in the opening auction so it's going to cost you 11 as an opening bid everyone else passes you get this share then for 11 that was your go it might be that you actually get outbid so you've created your action as an auction but you don't even win it okay so that is one option the second option you can do is build railway tracks so let's have a look at purples now to be able to build purple you need a share in the purple railroad company and applying the rules we'll just take a couple you've got three points to spend so we're going to spend one point to go in here and we're going to carry on two points and we're going to go, we can't go in here because that would cost us two points total in four. So we're just going to go maybe up here. So you, a couple of rules. You can only place locomotives adjacent to your starting location. You couldn't just randomly place another one up here. You know, it has to be somehow connected back to the starting location. So they have undertook the action. The next thing you could do is a special 
interest. Now you can only do this, which is a good example, if you have a share in a, in a, a company, Purples here, and you are actually at a town that can be upgraded to a city. Now let's just say, you know, we'd gone down here and spent that instead. You spent one, two, three. We can't do a special interest because we're not connected to it, even though we're adjacent. So having made this connection, we can undertake this action. And what that does is allow you to go in this bag here and you get to pick out a color of your choice. If it's in there, you can you can decide which one you want. And you take a cube, let's just say you could go for white if you wanted. We're probably not, we're gonna go for black to diversify a little bit. So we've turned that town into a city, which is important because the last action is drawing dividend cubes. This is where you're hoping to get the right colors and make some money. Now, you would not look in the bag this time. You would draw three random cubes. You would pop these out here and we have two pinks and a white now it's irrelevant of how many of a cube it just references that pinks come out and whites come out so you'd work your way from left to right at the top here so the yellow company that's very early days really but yellows have not met the criteria and the criteria to be receiving dividends is having a pay in city which is one of these colors so a pink or a white they want a black cube, so they're not participating. If you had, well, let's carry on then. So we'll go, that's yellow's not participating. Purple, now purples are participating. Well, no, they're not participating because they've got a white paying city, but they can't connect to another paying city because it's black. Now let's just say this cube was pink. I'm just going to pink one of these. You've met the criteria. You've got a paying city to another paying city. The final criteria, so there's two ways to meet it, is a paying city to a paying city or a paying city to a town. Now, if it was this scenario, they would, this a train company, the purples, would get paid out. So white was one of those. So it'd be four bucks for this and two bucks for each town. And it reminds you on the board, just over here, you can see four bucks for the cities with a special interest group and a town's gonna get you two. Now you would take that six bucks from the supply and it would get paid out between the shareholders. So, you know, we've got three players here with their money ready to spend. If only this player had a share in purple, they would get the six bucks. If these guys and these guys had a share each, you'd split it three uh, pounds each. You'd be splitting the dividends. Okay, so that is how you do that. And you'd go next company. So oranges, you can see they've only just started out. Even though they have got a white cube there, they don't meet the criteria. It doesn't line up with another town or another paying interest cube there. And finally, you go to red. And equally, it's very early days. They're in the same position. They haven't really kicked off yet. So that is the four actions. You are hoping to expand your network. So you you know get into these towns. So you've got more revenue for when you draw the dividend cubes. A spot of luck as to what comes out of the bag but there is strategy as to what cubes you choose out of the bag for that special interest because if you start populating up here with all these pink cubes so that if a pink cube does come out of the dividends you're going to get you know a payout for that a payout for that a payout for that of like four four and four 12 pounds but the more cubes of pink you take out the less chance there are of pinks in the bag to be drawn to get the dividend. So a very interesting balance. And I love these auctions, folks. You know, after the initial auction, if everyone's gone, you know, a bit too heavy, they've spent a bit too much, and you've been reserved at the back, this isn't a game where you're going to necessarily get punished because you, as your first action, it'll be the yellow player to go first, whoever has the yellow share. <laughs> may declare an auction straight away and you've kept some of your capital as an investor and no one else has got money and you go right i'm going for you know this one at nine and no one else has nine and you just get it straight away so some lovely play over the auction i like how you've got this extra dividend for me in the cities and some very interesting play as to how you're going to develop this and other people can take advantage of the cube so i should add when you draw this dividend cubes as you've shown we go through each company so even though you've drawn say a white and two pinks if you had your connections to black you're not getting a dividend, but everyone else who has got pink and white and meet those two criteria, well, one of those two criteria points will get paid dividends. So very interesting there. And as I say, once there is no cubes left in that bag, either through having drawn special interest or the draw dividend cubes, you will end their turn, add up your money, trade in all your shares at the price indicated in bold on them. Whoever has the most money is the winner of Irish Gage. Enjoy.